Hello, hello, Taurus. This is going to be your October 2022 Bone Curio reading. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. Let me get all these in my hand. Let's see. Taurus, October 2022 Spirit. Any guidance, any messages, anything they need to hear, Spirit, Taurus. All right, oh, we left a person out. See, we need the purse. All right, Taurus, 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 October 2022. Any guidance, any messages, Spirit? Any guidance, any messages? Oh, I see that we have everything. All right, Taurus, let's see. Some of you definitely, there could be a big move that looks like it's going to be coming in. And it looks like that there's some clouds, possibly with a love co connection. Um, we do have an issue with masculine energy. So there may be something that's coming in where there is possibly moving with a partner or a partnership or not i feel like somebody could be kind of like i don't know if i want to make this move and it could be because of a job situation because i feel like that if you are relocating and i do feel like there's a big move so some of you you could be looking for a different house a different place but i feel like spirit could be moving you to a different city different state possibly even a different country but there may be a job issue that is going on um I am getting something in your luck sector where there is possibly going to school or traveling out to teach. You could be a consultant. You could be somebody that is sharing knowledge and you are uh, either venturing out to different events or places to teach, or this could even be people coming into your environment to teach and possibly you're making money off of it. If you are joining up with a mentor, I feel like that there is going to be some type of monetary gain between you and this person. I will say, though, because um, you do have the little double head on the communication. So I know we're still, we're coming out of Mercury, but we still are in some of that energy. So I will say be careful of possibly what you say. Um, somebody's words could really sting. This might be yours. You may be having a really strong conversation with somebody and it's like, okay, I got to tell you whatever it is. But I feel like that there is some type of conversation that may be coming in that may not be the most pleasant of conversations. I do see you being open to whatever the communication is. This could even be with um, people that you work with. There may be some issue. I also get something with a legal situation where there may be a hard conversation. So if you're going to court against somebody, it may be some conflict, possibly an argument that's going in with this person. And for some of y'all, I feel like there's some legal paperwork or some legal situation that can happen in the next four days, four weeks, four months. So I will say be mindful of what you say. Some of you, um, there even may be some issues with friendship, especially with females. So you may be looking at some type of conflict with a female or a female friend that you were eyes on right next to this person. So it could be too that you had a situation with somebody where you thought this person was a friend and then maybe you're realizing that they're not as close to you as you thought they were or you may be questioning a friendship. So I will say be, be mindful this month of conversations that you have because some of it may not be what the truth is. There may be some dishonesty coming in. It's either on your part or on the part of somebody that you're talking to. Let's see what else. Let's look at the money. You do have the open road key in your money. Um, some of you, though, you have people that they have their hands out, which means it's like, gimme, 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 gimme. So we have money that is coming in, but we do have some opposition. You have the demon head in your money sector, too. Some of you, this could be uh, overspending or this could be somebody that is causing some type of obstacles. We do have people's hands out. So be careful this month that you are not putting yourself in a position where you have money coming in, but you got people that are like, can I borrow this? Can you help me out with this? Can you do this for me? Because there is some opposition on your money. Now, looks like there's a new job that's coming in. 
you do have money that is going to be coming to you, but you do have either this is obligations that you have to take care of, or these are people that you're taking care of. And spirit is like, you might want to be very mindful of how you are putting your money out there, how you are spending your money. You have protection on top of you, but your purse is upside down, which means money is coming in, but it's going out really fast. You can't hold on to it. Um, opportunities are coming your way, though. Where's the catcher's mitt? Let's see. It's upside down, and this is in your family, which is good. It's better to be in the family, not in the money. So I do feel like that um, you're going to have to watch your budget this month, Taurus. Some of y'all, it's like, okay, I need this. I want to spend this or whatever. And then it may be a family member or somebody who's coming in. It's like, can you help me out? Can you give me some money? There may be, because we have the bullet casing in the health sector too, that some of you might be dealing with some type of health issue that may be taking some money. You do have your dead upside down in the bad spell work. You could have somebody that is... Um, an opposition with you with spirit if you are a practitioner and you're working with a particular spirit especially if this is a spirit that needs to eat or be fed make sure that you're not the one that is feeding off of now for some of you there could definitely be like your energy is low could even be body aches or things like that and it looks like because in the bad spell work or the negative spell work you have somebody that is draining you if it isn't a person, it definitely could be energy or spirit. So if you're practicing your summoning or conjuring things, you might want to be careful that you're not conjuring something that has to feed off of you or feed off of other people, but you may not know that. And that's why it's feeding off of you. Some of you could be having weight loss or unexplained weight loss, or, you know, almost like you're getting sick and you don't know why. And it could be definitely, we got the dead in your bad spell work sector. Now, if this is not a spirit, this could be a person who is just draining you. I need, I need, I need. Can you help me out with this? Can you do this? Or can I come over and talk to you? You know, I'm going through a bad situation. You need to put boundaries around this person if you're dealing with someone like this because it's going to end up draining you. And we do have a bullet casing in your health sector, which means that you may have something that comes in really fast that you're not expecting that could be causing some type of sickness for you. Some of you, I feel like there's definitely going to be something with your teeth or problems with your teeth. Um, let me see. I'm also getting like sharp pains. I'm not sure if this is joint pain, almost like something sticking you. It could be pinched nerve, but I feel like there's something that's kind of hitting and it's like, uh. Like you move a certain way and you get this intense pain and it may subside. And then you're walking a couple of days later and you're like, oh, here comes this pain again. Some of you, I think it's a pinched nerve, but it could be if it's a sharp pain that comes and goes, it just may be a nerve issue for some of you. So you might want to go get that checked out. If this is like a toothache that comes and goes, it could be definitely that you need some type of dental work coming in for this month. Now. We have evil eye energy, and we definitely have the mockingbird, which is a lot of people talking. So some of you may be dealing with some people that are gossiping and things like that around you. I don't necessarily see it affecting your money so much. A lot of what's affecting your money is pretty much people coming to you or you having to deal with people. Oh, the Taurus. All righty, Taurus. So let's see. I, I'm definitely getting, um, which is a good thing, that you have evil eye energy that is up and it's just gossip. It looks like a little bit of pettiness. And I do see for some of you, it could be affecting your money when um, it, it deals with business. So if you have your own business or something like that, I feel like there's more of an, uh, an issue with it than say you're working for somewhere. Because I see gossip. I see petty gossip. But I think for the most part, it is hitting your pocket more so if you have a business. And there may be this issue of people could be giving bad reviews or talking about your business or putting something out there about your business that may affect you. Um, and I do feel like a little bit of a money loss with that. But spirit is kind of like, you know, you got money coming in. You may have to restructure some things. Some of you, you could be dealing with somebody that is in your inner circle that is trying to cause problems for you. Like this could be somebody who was either close to you and maybe you fell out with this person and now they're giving all your secrets away. 
or you have somebody in your circle that is just kind of, they're trying to sabotage you. So I think pay attention to the people that you're dealing with, especially when it comes to your business, if you're self-employed, the people that you're hanging with, the people that are in your circle that are supposed to be promoting your business or whatever. It could be that somebody is, there may be some jealousy that goes in with this and that could be why they're causing issues. Corporate though, I feel like for some of you that uh, the, the majority of the issue is somebody trying to drain you. Maybe they're overworking you too much or they are using your knowledge or your skill set to bring in money and you may not be growing as much with that. So there may be some opposition of maybe a supervisor or somebody who is literally trying to take advantage of you. And that's the way that it would be hitting your money here. But it still looks like that in corporate, if you were dealing with something with like a nine to five or whatever, looks like you're still getting paid, but there may be an obstacle with someone. I do see that the anchor is on top of the handcuffs. So it looks like that you're not bound by anything. If anybody was kind of trying to make you feel heavy, I feel like you're on top of your haters, which means that I'm dominating you, that you're not dominating me. So you may even see some issue with someone and flip the script on them, Taurus. I do see um, when it comes into the family, your crown is upside down, which means some of you may not be feeling as strong when it comes to your family uh, workout uh, or, or work up. Whatever there is, there, the sun is there. And I see that there's a transformation that's happening or somebody is changing in the family and the son is bringing out something else uh, that illuminates this change. But somebody's crown is upside down and I'm trying to see, oh, it could be a younger person. So it may not be you, Taurus. It could be somebody that you're dealing with that is in your family. This could be a spouse, a daughter, a son, um, a sister, somebody. But I feel like that there's somebody who's self-esteem is not 100%. If you're a female, this could be going towards you where it's like, okay, I'm going through a major change. Maybe my body's changing. Things are changing. It could, get, could be a male too. Maybe you're losing weight, gaining weight or something. And somebody's self-esteem is a little bit upside down. The sun card though is showing that whatever this is, this is a temporary energy. So if the crown is upside down, it could just be that this month you're kind of feeling some kind of way or a person in your life is feeling some kind of way and it looks like that they're going to go ahead and get over it. Because I see some changes coming in four days, four weeks, four months with this energy. There may be a little bit of a sickness or a procedure that somebody is having in the family. Butterfly transformation is on top of this. So this could also be too that somebody is going through some type of surgery and there is a recovery period or process in. If this is cosmetic surgery, it could be that somebody's making some type of change with their body. If this is um, an, uh, a surgery that was necessary, because we do have the bullet case in here where it could be that something came in really, really quick and it had to be taken care of in the health sector. There is recovery here. Travel, we have money coming in. Where's the airplane? It's over here by love. So some of you, you could be a pilot, flight attendant, truck driver, Uber, Lyft. Um, you could also be traveling to share knowledge around with people. You could be having people travel to you to share knowledge. But it is showing that there's money that is to be made with travel. Some of you, though, I feel like that Spirit is saying there's a big move that's coming. And I'm wondering if possibly that you're looking at another place where it's like, I can go here and make money. Some of you, I think you're building your foundation somewhere else. You could be opening a business somewhere else or joining in with a business. I feel like, Taurus, a lot of you have been wanting to move for a while and you've been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. And it looks like that you're coming to a point where there's um, a move that is happening because you've out either outgrown the space you're in or the space has outgrown you. And sometimes a house can push you out. An apartment can push you out. It's like, okay, I don't want to be here anymore. or I don't want you to be here anymore. The house that I'm in now, I feel like that we're outgrowing it. Um, it, was, it. It worked really well the first few years. And then we started a business. I have a business. Jazz has a business. Jordan is starting his thing. And it's like, okay, yeah, we need like a seven bedroom house or something where, you know, there's a workplace or workstation outside of it for some of us so that the house can flow a little bit better. I'm wondering for some of you, if you could 
be kind of coming into this energy of my life is expanding, my business is expanding, and I'm outgrowing where I'm at. So that's why I need to move. Some of you, this move may be a little bit more difficult because it's like you've been trying to do it and maybe you're trying to get the money together, but I feel like the money is there. The housing market right now, if you're trying to sell, it looks like that, yeah, you might want to go ahead and look into it. Now, I do get a little bit of a handicap um, with the house. Some of you could be in an environment that it needs to be fixed up. Something needs to be um, you know, done to it. So for a few of you that are not really ready to move, you could be redecorating your space. You could be remodeling your space. But some of you, you are trying to sell and it could be, oh, I need to put a new roof on or I need to you know, build up the foundation. Some of you, I feel like though, that there is an ultimatum. Maybe you're a renter and this person is like, I've decided that I want to sell the house. So it's time for you to move and you need to go ahead and find somewhere else. So whatever it is, there's a cycle that is ending with this and you're going to be pushed to another place. Um, for a few of you, the environment looks like it's going to be better. Some of you may have a partnership or a family member that's like, I don't want to move there. And there may be some conflict with that. So be prepared because I do see obstacles or procrastination with a move. We got the heart upside down. I feel like somebody is maybe having a change of feeling or they're questioning their feelings in a relationship. This could be you. This could be a person that you're with. Um, I do see spirit is very much watching this situation. So some of you pay attention to messages that are coming through because with the sword here, it's showing that you're going to be cutting away some things or some things are going to be cut away. And it's necessary because spirit is doing it. Whenever it's time for us to move, spirit can make things be unbearable and they can do that. They can cause evictions. They can cause, you know, house fires or things like that because it's like, look, we've been trying to tell you it's time to move and not saying that any of that is going to happen. But whenever I see the sword and spirit messages, it's like, look, we're, we're getting ready to cut something away. There's a major life change that's coming in and it shows in this transformation. Some of you may already be in the midst of this energy where you know that there's a major life transformation that's going on. You're not the same person. Your environment doesn't support you anymore, or you just feel the need for a big change, okay? Definitely, though, travel brings in money. So if you are relocating or moving or something like that, we got a new job that's coming in. It's right in spirit messages. They're cutting something away because it looks like they're bringing in something new. Some of you, you may be questioning your faith when all this happens. Like, why is this happening to me? The spirit is like, trust the process. Now, in the good spell work, we definitely got paying attention to messages from spirit talking to you. Some of you, you have a, a female on the other side that is coming to visit or talk to you. And it looks like it could be an ancestor for some. For a few of you, it could be a guy. But I'm definitely getting um, a lot of ancestor energy and a lot of spirit communication that's coming in for you. Um, in the love, we could have something that is opening your emotions. But some of you, I think there's a third party interference with this. So you may have some type of clouds or something coming in, a love connection, because there's a third party that's coming in. You could be connecting with somebody from a distance and they could be causing problems for where you're at right now. Doesn't necessarily have to be love, though. I'm wondering if some of you could have a friend that's like, look, the job market is better here. Why don't you move to, I don't know, Georgia or, you know, move to Arkansas or whatever. And the person that you're with is like, I don't want to move there. Maybe something doesn't support them there. So there may be some talks about a person that is going and getting settled somewhere and someone who's staying behind um, because of career. There also may be a conversation of, I don't know if I want to do this new beginning because we definitely have a new beginning coming in. Some of you also could be giving birth and there may be um, some issues with like morning sickness or things like that. So really kind of take care of yourself and, you know, be on point with your health. We do have a new job that's coming in. Some of you may be a little bit overwhelmed because we got the job on top of you, which means that this could be something that's coming in quick. And it's like, I'm not really sure if I want to do this or I feel overwhelmed with it because it looks like you were holding the job up. Um, it is kind of coming in with this love and home. So I'm wondering if some of you possibly could be moving somewhere to be closer to someone and then having to look for a job there. 
we definitely have clouds with this with this love thing. So there may be some confusion about what do I want from this relationship? What direction am I trying to go? And this could be either you or a partner. I feel like if you've been wanting to move for a long time and your partner's been kind of holding you back, some of you are coming to the end of the line where it's like, it's time for me to make a move. You're either coming or you're not. Because there's definitely something that's cut off. Some of you could be cutting off a job. I'm ending it so I can move on to another job. I do feel a career change for a few of you, but I do see transformation that is coming through. Money is coming in. You could be definitely sharing knowledge or learning new things, developing your skill set that brings in more money. Some of you, I feel like, too, that you could be taking classes with somebody where you're trying to manifest your spirituality. Um Maybe and there, there is obstacles and the eyes on top of this with spirit. Make sure that whoever you're dealing with, they're doing it for the right reasons and they are connected to spirit. There are a lot of people out here that are, you know, bullshit people when it comes to their connection with spirit. So make sure that you're dealing with the right people that can help you grow. Manifestation is upside down and we're definitely having some issues when it comes to Maybe your belief system, and this is in spirit messages, so they may be questioning what direction you're going, or you may be asking them, like, what's up, spirit? Where, you know, what direction are you taking me? But there's some doubts, Taurus, that you may need to work through. Because I feel like some of you could be walking one path and then all of a sudden seeing something else and deciding to switch over to another path. It could have been that the path you was on was just there to get you to this path. I mean, it does happen that way. So if something comes in and it's cut away, you know, some of you may question the faith of it. Like, okay, I've been doing this for years and now you're taking me in a different direction. But I feel like spirit is like, look, pay attention and go with the flow. There is some issues with love. There could be a change in feelings um, for you with someone else. I do also see that some of you may have an issue with a friend that may not be the best of friends because they're on the evil eye energy. So some of you could be dealing with someone where it's like, okay, I thought we were cool, but I don't really feel like you're supporting me the way you need to support me. So there may even be a conversation. A few of you may even have a legal situation with someone, a friend, and it could be about money where maybe they were supposed to give you money or there was something that was supposed to work out with money and they're not following through. Or either they're telling you, you were supposed to pay them and you're not following through. Let's see what the cards have for you, Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. And some of you be prepared that this move literally could be a different city, state, or country. Because I feel like that if you move... Um, there's still a possibility of you traveling to um, a different country. This could also be, too, that maybe you're planning a vacation or a trip to a different country, and it may have something to do with your spirituality. Maybe some of you are going to Cuba. Some of you might be going to Mexico. Some of you might be going to Haiti. For spiritual, you know, Brazil. Whatever your, your destination is, I think Spirit is going to guide you there, Taurus. Taurus. All right, let's see. Ace of Cups reverse. Selfish emptiness, depression, going through some things. And then we have the Six of Cups reverse. Lethargic, living in the past, refusing to grow up, being stuck on something, feeling depressed, destruction, the tower comes through, something not working out the way that you want it to work out, false security, sudden change, a wake-up call. So whatever this transformation or this life change, it's because some of you could have been going through a really dark phase of depression. I've gone through something. Infertility is there. Some of you may have even lost a child. And I'm so sorry if you went through that. This could be um, lethargic. Is like, I don't really have energy to put into anything the way I want. And some of you, if you have lost a child or there was something that you were giving birth to, if this is not a physical baby, this could have been a business or a spiritual path. And it didn't manifest the way that you thought it was going to manifest. And the tower card is here. And it's like, I don't trust. I don't believe in whatever your your deity or whatever you 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 serve or you practice, because if I if you were real, you wouldn't have let this happen. So there may be some um, questioning 
questioning about your spiritual path and also the spirits that you walk with. Tower is definitely showing that something came in and really knocked the wind out of you. Wheel of Fortune, it looks like that destiny changes. Now we got the tower that brings in the change and then we have the Wheel of Fortune that brings in the change and moves it a little bit further. So we have something where you're like, oh my God, everything that I thought was coming in or was going to happen the way I wanted it to happen did not. Let me regroup. Let me see what I can do to salvage this. And some of you might be going through depression to the point of where you're self-medicating, you're drinking, you're taking pills or whatever. Spirit is saying that you need to get closer to your spirits to get you through this. So for some of you, if you are questioning that, though, that may be hard. That could be why some may be self-medicating. So we got this wheel of fortune and it looks like something does kind of start to turn in a direction that you want. We have eight of pentacles and this is education. This could be, okay, I lost this job. I'm going back to school or I lost this opportunity. So now I'm going to share knowledge and possibly teach. I'm going to learn something new or either I'm sharing some type of knowledge. And it looks like making money off of a skill set that you have. So some of you, if you are an author or a painter or a spiritual advisor or musician, anything, I feel like there's a lot of creativity here. Anything that has to deal with building on something, it looks like that you're using this skill set to teach people. A few of you might be going under someone as an apprentice. Yes, high priestess, higher power. Some of you may be changing your spiritual journey and finding a mentor that is teaching you or helping you learn. For some of you, you are the mentor. You've decided to share knowledge. High Priestess is trust your intuition. We have three of wands in reverse. Careless approach, untrustworthy companions. Now we did have, remember, some gossip. We had possibly some people that were draining your energy. So this is kind of like if you're bringing people in under you, make sure that these people are coming in with the right agenda. If you are going under somebody, make sure that this person is mentoring you or teaching you with the right agenda. Some of you could be dealing with somebody that is playing games so that they can drain your energy. We have three of swords reversed. We have recovery, healing, releasing sorrow, and loneliness. Some of you may have come across somebody that took advantage of you. Of course, we saw that there could be some health issues because the bullet, bullet casing was there. If this was a surgery or something that you had to go through, and we did see that over here, that could have been part of the transformation too. You are entering a healing process. If this is emotional pain, you are entering a healing process and you are recovering. Um, page of Wands, we have a message coming in. We have the chariot in reverse, um, somebody domineering, um, a lack of control or aggression. Some of you in your healing process, there may be a message that comes in from somebody that is demanding of you. Let's do this. Let's do this now. Let's go in this direction. It could be with the chariot too, that there is this thing of, I want to move forward, but there's control issues that are going on. This could be you trying to control the situation too hard or somebody around you trying to control the situation too hard. Let's see which way it goes. Let's see, six of wands, reverse, betrayal, demotion, under pressure, being taken advantage of. Be careful who you're bringing into your energy this month, Taurus. Some of you, I think it's crazy because I feel like you're on the miracle round with this. Some of you, you keep putting your energy into the same type of people or the wrong people. So you have to use, you have to slow down and use your discernment to make sure that the people that you're connecting with are the people that are supposed to be there, whether they are teaching you or you are <clears throat> teaching them. And I keep feeling like I want to choke up. So I think there's something going on with communication that is not very clear. Either you are not telling people what you want directly or the way that you're communicating it, <clears throat> excuse me, is not right. Or you're, this person over here could be lying. Somebody that you're dealing with could just be lying to you. Be careful of who you're communicating with, y'all. Because I don't feel like you're getting the full story. I mean, definitely, I feel like it's more so 
there's this honesty that goes both ways, but it is it just feels heavier coming from somebody else. Five of Pentacles, poverty, a lack of finances, hardship, hopelessness, hopeless, hopelessness, spiritual poverty. Remember where I said that there's something coming in where there may be a switch and you're questioning what why this is happening. Now, we have a new job that's coming in. So some of you, if you were self-employed, you may be having a hard time with that um, and then deciding, okay, I want to go ahead and get this nine to five to bring my money in or either I'm working a nine to five and it's not paying what I really want. I'm wondering too, if the sum of this could be in a work situation where you're kind of feeling like I'm overworked, I'm overwhelmed. I have something that I'm learning or I have a supervisor that is teaching me and then we get this thing over here where there is somebody I cannot trust. There's deception there. And then we have demotion. And then we have somebody feeling like, okay, I don't have the money. Some of you, you may have had somebody that dropped you down or took away your status or your money. And you're not, you're, you're having a hard time. Let's see if this is going to come back together. King of Pentacles, reverse, possessiveness, corruption, insecurity. Remember where I said your, your crown was upside down. Somebody's self-esteem issues. There's something going on with jealousy. Now, this could be that you are getting past a very difficult situation. You're trying to learn something. You're trying to find ways to make money. And you have somebody who comes in and they're trying to dominate. They betray you and then they cause you to lose money. Remember where I said I felt like there was some talk about somebody trying to gossip about your business, maybe leave bad reviews. Some of you could be having somebody that is over here trying to drain you and talk about you at the same time. But there looks like there's some type of jealousy. Now, if this is you, don't hold on to people that you don't need to hold on to. Because some of you, I feel like that you're holding on to something longer than what it needs to be. There's some corruption that's going around. And it means that you need to look at some of the people around you. Like, what's the agenda? Are they there to help you or are they there to hurt you? All right. For a pinnacles in the upright, hold on to money, budget lack of flow. So this is somebody that definitely could have lost a job or lost an opportunity. They're trying to hold on to money. Let's see where it's going to take you, Taurus. King of Cups. Somebody could be a partnership, male or female, Ace of Pentacles. Let's get together and make money together. Some of you, you may have a power couple, power, power couple, power couple dynamics, Taurus, and then two of Pentacles juggling money going around in circles trying to figure out business so here's the thing we come from a place of destruct of depression and destruction and then we come to this wheel of fortune where it's like okay i got this let's get on this bandwagon education using my skill learning new things to make money and then we have untrustworthy companionships people that could be coming into your life that may be distracting you causing problems looks like there's some healing because of something that happened with someone and you're moving forward. But then we come back over here and maybe we're choosing a person again that is wrong or we're giving somebody a chance that did us dirty in the first place. And then we're watching that we're losing money. Some of you have a person that could be draining you. And like I said, in your money sector, can I borrow money from you? Can you do this for me? Can you help me out with this? Be careful with this. And I feel like it's more masculine energy, to be honest. You have the uh, four pinnacles. It looks like that you have money, but you're really trying to budget really tight on it because you don't want to lose it. There's a partnership that comes in. So you could be connecting with somebody who is very spiritual. They may have their eye on the money too. For some of you, this could be a love interest. If not, this is a business partner or somebody who's coming in. Come make money with me. And then we have prosperity, a new source of income. May take you into a different place, a different city, a different state. Maybe this person has a business, but it's not where you're at. And they want you to come this way. We also have, too, that you're trying to get your money together to join up with this person, which means that if you're planning on taking classes with somebody, you're trying to get your money together. If you're planning on going into business with someone, you're trying to get your money together. But you got to focus. And a lot of you, I feel like Taurus is. But I do feel like there's a lot of, we got the seven of wands, and this is like really walking in your courage, walking in your power, because you got some battles that are coming around you. It is showing though that you're going to get back in control of whatever this is. Some of you spirit is like, we're going to cut away some things, possibly some people, because they are not good for you. Some of you are stuck in the cycle with certain people that you don't need to be stuck in the cycle with anymore. 
And if this is a relationship, I feel like somebody keeps letting somebody come back, but they really don't want to be with them. A person has transformed. I don't feel the same way. And this could be about a person or a job. I don't feel the same way. Spirit is like, we're going to cut it away because you're moving in a different direction. Some of you have been betrayed by people and you still keep giving them chances, which is a very untourist tourist thing to do with the Taurus that I know. Some of y'all could be motherfuckers when it comes to betrayal and things like that. Y'all can really stick with that. But I do see it could be poverty that's making you want to reach out and work with this person again. Like, damn it. They kind of did me dirty, but I think I can make some money with them. All money is not good money. And if you are getting with a mentor or somebody to build something, we got untrustworthy companions. Be careful that you're not connecting with the wrong people, trying to build with the wrong people. You're going to get out of the cycle. But why go through all this shit, Taurus, if you don't need to? Open your eyes. See what's going on around you. If you already look for the red flags, if you already know that this is not what you want, don't do it. Some of y'all, I don't know. It's, it's, it's almost like... You know that you're not really down with somebody, but it's like, I'm going to be cool with you or make you think that I'm cool with you. There's some type of fakeness that's going on, whether this is you or the people around you. Pay attention to the people around you. If you ain't feeling it, it ain't for you. It's not. Because you're going to waste a lot of energy on bullshit when you could just literally cut that out and move on to the part that you want, the money, the stability. If you're dealing with somebody back and forth and you know that you are tired of it, this old pettiness and squabbles that you don't need to be in, let that shit go. Let somebody else take up that because it literally is draining you. You're wasting a lot of time and energy on non-factor people or non-factor issues. There's a lot of shit going on in this world that could be beneficial to you, but you're, you're caught up in some bullshit cycle with people. Some of you, I think that you may have to kind of sit down and have this come to Jesus or whatever deity that you work with moment. Like, damn, I really don't really, I don't need to fuck with these people no more. I don't really need to fuck with this anymore. Let me let it go and move on. There's a possessive, a possessiveness or an obsession. Some of you are holding on to shit that you don't even need to hold on anymore, but you can't let it go because it's the principle, principle of it for you. But it doesn't serve anything. So be honest with yourself. Why am I in this situation? Why am I holding on to this relationship or this job that no longer works for me? Be honest with yourself. And if it don't make any sense, let that shit go towards. All right, my loves. I definitely wish you the best.